Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, church. Uh, whatever time you are tuning into this devotion, I want to say welcome. My name is Emmanuel. I'm a small group leader. I'm part of the New to Faith and Protective Services team. We have been in a series that talks about what our favorite Proverbs is. And I, actually, I have a few, but they all kind of say the same thing. So Proverbs 15, 22 says, Plants fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. Proverbs 11.14 says, For a lack of guidance, a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. And Proverbs 12.15 says, The way of fools seems right to them, but the wise listen to advice. Um, the, the verse in Hosea 4 says, famously says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because you have rejected my knowledge. I also reject you as my priest because you have ignored the laws of your God. I will also ignore your children. And in John 1426 in the Amplified Version uh, Bible, Jesus says, But the helper, comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, standby, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place, to represent me and act on my behalf, he will teach you all things and he will help you to remember everything that I have told you. So church, if it is true that our plans will fail for a lack of counsel and succeed with counsel, then it is also true that we have access to the ultimate counselor, the Holy Spirit. Then what we really should be doing, him, doing is asking him to lead us, right? To give us his truth, his advice, his wisdom to certainly live our lives and be led back to Christ, be shaped and molded in his image to do the things that he has commanded us to do. So church, really quickly, I want to pray. Uh, Father God, right now, thank you for your church, for all your children that are devoted to you, that love you, that want more of you. And I thank you, Father God, for your church that that needs to listen to your spirit that lives on the inside of them. Thank you that we have access to the Holy Spirit. So right now, Holy Spirit, we invite you into this prayer, into this room, into whichever room you're, you're, anyone is listening to this message from, Father Lord. And we say, Holy Spirit, have your way. Give us the truth, your power and your wisdom, Father Lord, to really be able to succeed in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So church, I want to say goodbye and I'll see you on Sunday. Peace.